Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Yev, and today I have another mechanical keyboard with magnetic switches from Vomir. This is Vomir M68HE, 65% rapid trigger mechanical gaming keyboard. This video is not sponsored by these guys, and these guys did not send me these keyboards for the review. So my plan for this review is just to share with you parameters and my personal testing experience of this keyboard so you can decide do you need this product or not so first of all what you will get as a kit together with this keyboard right you will have a black braided cable usb a usb c you will have a very simple switch and key cap puller you will have two spare magnetic switches and if you're wondering what this magnetic switches is this is Autemu magnetic switches, absolutely fl flat on the bottom part without any pins. But I have one interesting news for you related to this magnetic switches. And obviously you have a keyboard itself, right? So as a keycaps, we have a double shot PBT shine through side printed legends keycaps with this topologic kind of style, you see, and the style is coming from the keycaps to the plastic case itself, right? Also, we have uh, on the front side uh, caps and Vinormac indicators. From the bottom side, we have this two level adjustment fees, right? And some information about the keyboard, like serial number and all of that. And I cannot see any, ah, okay. And the back side, we have a switch, Win or Mac and USB-C uh, port. So from the switch point of view, we have this Otemu magnetic switch with a standard um, length of the spring or, you know, this whole movement from the top to the bottom. This is four millimeters as always. And because this is magnetic switch, you can change the actuation point from 0.1 to 4.0 millimeters. Let me show you closer the structure of this switch. Nothing special, pre-looped switch, pretty nice um, from the structure point of view and from the sound pretty silent. So from the structure point of view, what we have? We have several layers. First of all, it's aluminum alloy positioning plate for the switches. Underneath we have EVA sandwich cotton and underneath we have a bottom uh, cotton, right? So for the very simple keyboard with a very simple plastic case is um, enough materials for the good sound. And I will show you this in a second. From this part, we will have some kind of surprises for this keyboard. We have a um, um, north facing RGB right you see this but also you may see that we have a kind of spot for two pins magnetic switch while this original switch is absolutely absolutely flat on the bottom right this led me to the you know investigation part and i just test this gateron magnetic switch jade switch together with this keyboard and you never you never guess actually i can insert the switch into this pcb plate and moreover it will work so next surprise for me is rather um bump because again you see that this is a um, north facing rgb so rgb led element on the top of the uh, spot right but and also from the switch point of view you have this rgb windows on the top side right but from the key point of view you have this sided printed legends on the bottom side so i don't know guys what about you but from the real point of view i cannot see these legends on the keycaps whatsoever if you know how to type and not looking to the keyboard good for you if you don't know how to do it for example me you will not be able to type on this keyboard game yes type no okay now 
let's talk about the software and rapid trigger and all of that. So first of all, you may see that this software is standard software. So we saw the same on a fish from Red Dragon. Um, we saw the same software on my recent review for one Moo Magnetic uh, keyboard switch or switch keyboard. So the guys already started, you know, control copy, control paste this PCBs, the software and magnetic switches. So it's not unique anymore. And we have a full market of different magnetic switches keyboard from cheap to expensive. And this is already third or first time when they see the same software. So I assume it is the same or almost the same PCB and all of that. Is it good or bad? Um, it's hard to say, it's like both ways. But anyway, the software is very known for me. Anyway, so what you have as a software, right? So first of all, the most important stuff, obviously this rapid trigger function. So we need to switch on, we can choose, for example, AWSD and put this to 0.5 and apply to the keyboard, done. Now I want to select other keys and put them into the 3.5, apply, done. Now let me show you one and two, right? One, two, you see, it works. So this Gatron switch is absolutely perfectly fine applicable to this keyboard, which is great, I think. From the settings point of view, let me assign for example, the fastest click on a one. So it will be 0 0.1, apply, and the slowest to two, four millimeters, apply. And now just check this out. I will try to synchronize um, video from the keyboard and video from the screen. So you will try to, to catch the moment. So I'm pressing one and you see it's immediate, immediate reaction. By the way, they're saying that it's AK pulling rate through this USB-C cable from this keyboard. Maybe it's true, maybe it's not. I have no idea. I don't know how to check it. And my personal opinion that everything what is like on top of 1K, uh, it's very hard to notice anyway. And also it's it depends on your monitor, your PC, your cables, your, I don't know, processors, like everything. So I would say, all this 8Ks is rather marketing stuff than something real, my personal opinion. So anyway, you see that 1 is set to 0 0.1 and it immediately works. Let's put 2. And then you go to very down to the bottom of the switch to register the press. So this simple test can show you that actuation point, different actuation point really works on this keyboard, which is good. I know you're waiting for this, so sound test. Not bad for the plastic simple keyboard with magnetic switches and obviously it's a lot of room for improvement. With a Gatron magnetic switch it will be much better, believe me. Also with another set of keycaps it will be even better. But again, take into account that this is a gaming keyboard and the main feature is rapid trigger and activation point. Maybe you don't need this. From other side it's pretty bright from RGB point of view and stylish from the look and you know full of features as all other magnetic keyboards on the market right now so if you like how it looks like if you're in within the budget and all of that you can consider I hope my video will help you to decide if you have any questions related to this keyboard you can ask me and I will help you with the answers thank you for watching and see you next time